really happy to be here and welcome everyone to, uh, uh, to this session. I'm excited to tell more about trends in protein packaging. So in the next uh, 20 minutes, we will focus on some insights and really see what is happening in the packaging part of the meat industry. So before we dive into the content, let me give a bit of background of who Innova Market Insights is, uh, so that you also understand how we derive these trends that you will see and um, all the insights that we see in the presentation. So Innova Market Insights, we are the world leader in food ideas and answers. We are a global market research firm specialized in uh, the F&B industry. Uh, we have been tracking innovations and trends for the past 25 years. And we really look at the food and beverage industry from a holistic perspective. So we track what new innovations come into the market. We actually have the world's biggest database for this. Uh, but we do a lot of consumer studies, market sizing, patent analysis, uh, all of these different angles that give you insights uh, on the industry and help you in yeah, creating strategic decisions for your company. And we also yeah, use this to indeed identify trends and showcase what is happening in certain areas in the market, uh, which we will focus on in this presentation is uh, packaging trends in meat. So the topics that we will cover, you see here on the slides. So first of all, we'll see trends in sustainability and consumer perception. So overarching trends of sustainability within uh, food and beverage packaging. And of course, we know that quite a bit changed in uh, consumer behavior and attitudes due to COVID-19. Uh, but we also look ahead of, okay, what can we expect after the pandemic? and how does packaging play a role in that matter as well. And secondly, we also will be looking into innovations in meat packaging, so trends in material use and supplier innovation, different avenues of communicating uh, sustainability, and also spotlight on packaging solutions that are recyclable by design, aim to reduce food waste, and also, also utilize emerging technologies. So you can expect in this presentation insights on what consumers want, what is happening in the market, and a lot of new innovations and inspiration. Also, if you have questions later on, I'm really happy to answer all of them at the end of the presentation. So let's uh, start with trends and innovations in protein packaging. So as mentioned in the introduction, sustainability, and I think we all see it around us, is such a big impactor in packaging uh, sustainability evolution. And here on the left side, we see kind of the evolution of the last years that packaging within the sustainability environment has grown and evolved. So uh, a couple of years ago, it started off with more lightweight packaging, plastic reduction, which we are still seeing a lot of nowadays. You know, compostable tea bags or coffee pots. And this has really evolved into more recyclable by design or reusable packaging. Circular economy is a, is a big theme, of course, as well. And this is really growing into like the rise of paper-based packaging. And nowadays we are seeing claims on products packaging that are focused on uh, carbon footprints already are very open and transparent about the life cycle that the product's packaging endures. So yeah, a lot of things happening within the packaging space that is driven by sustainability. And also if we see some results from our consumer survey here in the middle, so two in five global consumers say that uh, disposability, so end of life cycle information, positively influences their product choice when buying food and beverages. 
So it has really an impact on purchasing behavior. And here on the right, we also see an example of this like sustainable claim on meat packaging. So in this case, we are seeing flat skin type of packaging. And also the claim says that it um, yeah, really achieves the packaging reduction through replacement with paper. And you see that here highlighted that uh, on the top of that uh, product innovation is that it even says like how you can separate the plastic uh, film from the paper and how to recycle it and uh, using 75% less plastic in the packaging. So yeah, a lot of different claims in this one new innovation that was launched in Spain last year. So there's different avenues of communicating packaging sustainability in meat. And here we zoom into a few of them. So we talked about plastic reduction and we saw that in the previous product example that was highlighted. But here again, we see some innovations in this space. So in the left top corner, this new meat product uh, that was launched in the United Kingdom. It also has front of pack uh, some claims regarding the sustainability of the packaging. But also on the back of the packaging, it highlights and tells the story. So it says that there is 75% less plastic used. And even it describes that we care about the environment as much as we care about great quality sticks. And that's why we've reduced the packaging, uh, the plastic in our packaging to bring you fresh tender steaks with less impact on the environment. And of course, yeah, environment is such a big topic nowadays in, uh, in the meat sector in general and with the rise of, of plant-based meats. Uh, but I think that's not new to, uh, to all of you listeners. Um, some more examples here, end of life cycle um, example. So this dried fish product, it has this OXO uh, biodegradable uh, claim on the front of the pack. Then we also see if we move to the right bottom corner of the slide, renewable energy use. So this oven roasted deli turkey that was uh, found in the market in Hong Kong last year. It also again says on the back of the packaging, um, yeah, different communication style. And in this case, it's focused on renewable energy. So the product says we match a portion of the energy used to prepare and package this product with renewable energy certificates. So again, different ways that um, sustainability of packaging can be communicated and uh, yeah, that we see more innovations of in the market. So another topic is carbon labeling uh, that really continues to gain traction. So we have another consumer uh, stat here on the left side. We've asked a statement to respondents in our, in our survey. And the statement was, Product traceability and transparency are important aspects of packaging information. So product transparency uh, and traceability. And we see here that 53% of the Indonesian consumers uh, respondents, they agree to this statement and also 48% of uh, Chinese respondents in our survey. So it's definitely a topic that is important to consumers and a key aspect of packaging information. And here on the right side is again a great example that is focused on this carbon labeling. And you see here as well how the product describes itself. So it claims that uh, the production consumes 46% less electricity, 99% less water, 90% less greenhouse gas in, um, emission and 93% less agricultural land. So those are a lot of really strong claims uh, on this product that uh, is really derived by packaging innovation.
then let's zoom in to uh, some innovative plastics. Because, yeah, of course, a lot of brands are trying to reduce the use of plastic in their packaging. Uh, but there is also uh, new ways and new plastic solutions for the meat industry. Here's two examples. First of all, on the left side, Amcor has launched this uh, eco tight R in Europe. It's a solution promoted as the first recyclable PVDC free shrink bag for meat, poultry, and cheese. And this packaging was designed with the aim to maximize shelf life and also maintain food safety and reducing food waste. And this can be uh, recycled in existing PE blessing recycling streams in several European countries. And on the right side here, from uh, Sufi Tools, they've unveiled the home compostable food safe vacuum pouches that are specifically designed to withstand sous vide cooking temperatures. So the pouches can uh, store food items such as fresh produce and chilled food, meat and chicken, but also withstand temperatures up to 85 uh, degrees over a time of 12 hours. So where other pouches would swell and delimitate, this pouch can be really uh, used for that purpose and then is also home compostable. So again, a very innovative plastic. Food safety is still in Asia and our surveys, if we ask a whole list of claims and things that are important to consumers when buying food and drinks, food safety is, uh, is really the number one and for sure in Asia. And also in packaging, of course, packaging plays such a big role in, in food safety. Uh, and yeah, tackling food waste also uh, to ensure uh, shelf life extension. So from our consumer survey, three in five global consumers indicate that due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the protective function of the product packaging has become more important to them. So indeed, packaging has become more important because it's really protecting them uh, to, yeah, any COVID-19 situations. Here on the left side, we see a new innovation focused on this topic. It's from Kuan Tech. It's a Scottish blue biotech company tackling plastic pollution and food waste with one uh, singular uh, circular solution. So this new packaging is made of uh, shitosan and claims to provide shelf life extension due to its antimicrobial uh, properties. And also here on the right side, another example of a very innovative uh, packaging solution. Sealed Air, they introduced this chlorine-free vacuum shrink bag to help food processors and retailers improve food safety and uh, advance their integration into the circular economy. So circular economy is definitely a key a claim that we are seeing uh, in different innovations and popping up in packaging innovation. So this innovation is it's made from a range of uh, resins that deliver high protective uh, chlorine-free EVOH barrier to extend shelf life and also to reduce uh, waste and to be a safeguard uh, yeah, during distribution storage and retail as well. And what is interesting is that the total packaging weight is reduced by more than half in this uh, high-tech generation of multi-layer shrink bags. So um, looking into smart labels. So that's definitely a key topic within packaging trends as well. We're seeing a lot happening in this area and uh, yeah, innovative solutions to reduce food waste and spoilage through smart labels. 
here on the left, um, it's um, uh, from uh, Innocencia. They, uh, they produce ink and uh, they also work together with this, um, yeah, in, in this innovation and technology because uh, their new technology is based on reactive ink with the ability to sense the gas concentration within food packages. So you have an app that you, uh, yeah, you can scan the packaging and then it tells you how many days you still have before the food is spoiled. So it really uh, measures the number of days uh, of freshness of the product. And also if there's no days left, it says, do not eat it. So again, a new technology to, uh, yeah, that really disrupts the food label spoilage um, packaging technology space. Here on the right, also um, new, yeah, innovation in quality assurance to reduce food waste. So GEA has developed this OxyCheck as a unique non-invasive system that checks the oxygen content and seals integrity by analyzing a sensor sensitive uh, fluorescent spot inside the map pack list. Okay, so how that works is that uh, this new system, so the GEA OxyCheck, um, they inspect all the packs, which reduces the risk of uh, any unsafe packs leaving the site. There's no packaging material wasted and no food products are contaminated. And uh, when a pack does not meet the specifications of this OxyCheck, it's automatically rejected and the line can just continue. So after a pack does not meet the specifications, uh, corrective actions can be taken immediately. So again, a new quality assurance to reduce food waste, but it's actually a smart label that can really help also for yeah, food safety and spoilage. E-commerce, I think this is such an important and interesting um, yeah, new area of packaging innovation because we are ordering more online and um, yeah, e-shopping of fresh food has been really surging in the last year due to COVID-19. We've asked consumers about this and one in five consumers from France, Germany, the UK and the US they do not expect to return to regular grocery habits after the pandemic. So this means that packaging of e-commerce and e-shopping platforms will be more prominent. And yeah, of course, this will also drive new innovations and better packaging methods. Here on the right is also uh, already some innovations in this space. So we have Be Cool. Uh, it's a box that keeps food chilled below seven degrees for up to 24 hours without using any cooling truck. And this box is made entirely from recyclable materials and uh, is 100% recyclable itself. So it's really a solution with uh, thermal isolation. And yeah, it's, it's developed to cater to the needs of the expanding online shopping market. And another one here, it's a partnership uh, of DS Smith and uh, Temper Pack on Climacell. And it's a thermal uh, isolation barrier for temperature sensitive foods like meal kits or other groceries or also medical products. And this Climacell can be uh, easily recyc recycled in paper recycling bins and replaced place is difficult to recycle um, foam. Looking at meat packaging in the past decades, and I think we can all very much relate to this uh, if we see it on a timeline. So packaging from around 10 years ago or from 2019 here on the left side, uh, using yeah, uh, a, a black plastic tray, and polystyrene uh, tray. And this has been really evolving over the years. So there has been a gradual movement away from hard to recycle 
a trace towards more recyclable materials such as polypropylene. However, these black plastics, yeah, they are difficult to detect uh, at recycling centers, uh, which use yeah, near infrared uh, sensors to sort color. So the use of paper-based uh, paper trays um, with a vacuum-packed uh, paper film is a great step towards a more recyclable packaging. And yeah, you see an example here on the far right. So this new innovation that was launched in Ireland in March this year, and it's this vacuum packed paper tray. Um, so yeah, the, the plastic film uh, used to vacuum pack the meat can be easily also separated from the paper by the consumer and then recycled in their respective streams. So yeah, nice visualization of what has been really happening over the last years in meat packaging. Then um, focusing on yeah, these trays, there's actually been a strong and steady growth in the use of fiber-based trays in the lieu of plastic. So again, the paper boom that we are seeing more often. So there was a 31% average annual growth in the last four years of new food and beverage products that use fiber-based trays. Here on the right, we see two examples of that. Uh, one is from Carrefour. So it's actually private label. So retailers also really uh, step into this market. 100% uh, compostable based, uh, printed with vegetable ink, 90% less, uh, less plastic. So a lot of claims for this new packaging product. And also AR packaging has introduced a barrier cardboard tray with more than 95% fiber content. So this is the last slide already. Um, definitely, you know, there's been such a significant process, uh, but there are still challenges in you know, sustainable packaging and packaging innovations. So there's an increasing number of retailers that are replacing plastic with paper-based solutions or fiber-based trays like we just saw in an attempt to be more sustainable. But how does this play out when we look at the end of life cycle? For example, this product on the left side, uh, this hybrid tray has 60% less plastic due to the use of paper. However, there will always be a plastic lamination or coating on the paper, which is uh, the, the one in contact with the food. And yeah, uh, it's more difficult to separate those two, of course. So the mixed materials end up at the same recycling plant. So first we had very clearly paper and plastic, and now it's kind of into one because it's a lamination of paper. So it um, ends up in the same recycling plant. So yeah, there's still a lot of you know, significant process and uh, still challenges like this that remain. Uh, some innovations really you know, focus on that as well. And uh, we saw that in one of the first examples that also clearly stated how to separate the paper from the plastic and then recycle in um, yeah, in the in the right bin, let's say. So yeah, that's that's all about innovations in meat packaging. I'm very excited to uh, see if there's any questions. Thank you all for listening. <laughs>